Hey guys, welcome back to the mother freaking Chanel. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video that I've never done before on my channel. And I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me today to do a day in the life of a nail content creator. As you guys know, I usually do like nail, nail tutorials, unboxings, how to's, all of that good stuff. So this is totally different, but I hope you guys are going to really enjoy this video. I also want to shout out Makar. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, I'm an ambassador for Makar. You can use code SLAYBYJ to save money on all your purchases. And while also doing the Day in the Life video, I'm also going to be showcasing one of Makar's new collections, which is their all-in-one powders that just released on May 1st. They had 36 different colors came out. I got a really fun collection. So make sure to stay tuned if you want to see me do some fun nails with McCart's new powder. If you want to check out McCart's new all-in-one powders, see my day in the life as a nail content creator, then just keep watching. Mwah. Bye! <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm not gonna start getting ready. Um, I wanna be a little fancy and I'm gonna do a spray tan, at home spray tan. So here's my glove, don't judge me, but you put this on your hand um, and then you're gonna put the spray tan product on the glove and then you can easily like rub it on yourself so you don't like get it on your hands and stuff like that, you know? So I'm going to do a spray tan really quick on my upper half body and then I'll come show you guys what it looks like when I'm finished. After the spray tan, we're going to do a little bit of makeup and some hair. I'm just going to show you guys what I, what I do, how I get ready for each day. Okay, so I have my base on. Um, I have a foundation, concealer, setting powder, uh, a little bit of contour, some blush, some eyebrow setting stuff, and then a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm going to put some lashes on. Can you guys see these? These are the lashes I'm going to wear. I currently get these from the dollar store. Um, so if you have a Dollar Tree next to you, go look for their lashes. They're super good. They're like a dollar and literally like they're the same quality as you would get at Ulta. Like I'm not even lying. Like look at these. They're so cute. They come in like a purplish, pinkish um uh container so i'll just show you like what color they look like this if you want some really good lashes girl you need to try you need to try these from mccart's charmed and armed these have like some brown lashes aren't they so gorgeous they're literally stunning. If you haven't tried them, you definitely should. I'll have a link down below. These ones are like super big, but I wore them so much. You can see they're like cut because I had to make them smaller for my eyes. But shout out to Charmed and Arm. You can use my little code too, Slay by J, to save money. But definitely like my favorite last. So I like to start my day off after taking my daughter to school. I come home, I check all my emails. I get a ton, a ton of emails, you guys, from like companies wanting to collab. After that, I go and respond to most of my comments. I literally try to like respond to every single comment. I feel like I do a pretty good job of that, but I'm going to respond to some comments and then um, check YouTube. I like to go watch all my friends' videos, leave them a like, a comment, especially my, my girl Nailed by Brandy, Nailed by Joel's, um, Nailed by Key. Like, I just love all of them. I like to go see if there's, like, any new hot trends going on that I can do, get some inspiration, some ideas for my channel, and yeah, so that's what I do in the morning usually and then I also like to get my schedule ready for the month and kind of plan out my videos and you know just get like a head start on things it's kind of important especially if you want to stay consistent so you're not like coming up with ideas all, all the time and stuff okay so now I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek sorry about the audio by the way I'm going to show you guys a sneak uh, not a sneak peek but I'm going to show you my nail room um don't judge me you just gotta make do with, you, with what you have girl I'm going to show you my nail room, how I set up for my videos, and like my intro, stuff like that. 
um, and how I set up for doing some nails. So let's go see. Okay, so by the way, this is my chair. Hi, hi, don't judge me. Um, so this is my daughter's room, actually. Her crazy girly play room. This is like where she lives, you know, her bed, all that good stuff. Sorry, I have like mess on the bed right now. Um, but yeah, this is where I film. So here's my, oh, by the way, peep this. What do we have here? Some goodies for McCart. They're all in one collection. This is the Avenue collection. They just released a whole bunch of new all-in-one powders, 36 of them. So this is what we're going to be doing for today's tutorial. And I'm just going to show you how I set up for that. So here is my nail desk. Usually, obviously, the chair is flipped around. I have this ring light here because this is how I do my um, intros. But I use a soft box light these two lights this one's currently broken right now so that's why it's like makeshifted um i have my monitor like my drill all of my stuff all the stuff on the desk is pretty much like what i always use for every nail set over here we have all products i need, I need to put away um all products all stuff i need to review boxes like you guys this part of the room is just always crazy i feel bad but we only have two bedrooms in our apartment, so I mean, not in our apartment, in our house. So that's like pretty much the only space I can I, I can do stuff with. But yeah, so this is like where I do a lot of like my Instagram reels, Instagram posts. After I'm done doing nails, I'll come and take my pictures here. Um, this is the stand that holds my phone. So I put my phone in here to film the nails. Lighting's very important. I have a mic over there for when I do my voiceovers. Me and my little baby, who's not a little baby anymore. Um, and yeah, so to do my intros, um, I love having a face to the channel. I usually channel. try to have my face in my videos. I used to be like really good about it, um, you know, at the beginning of my channel, but things evolved, channels evolved. So I still try to get my face in here once in a while. So you guys know who I am and I'm not just like a set of hands, you know, but I'm gonna set up for my intro really quick and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So, so far I have my daughter's book stand, bookshelf thing, and then I have my ring light up here. So I'm gonna get the ring light in and then show you guys the rest of the stuff. So I first start by trying to find the angle of like what I want my intro to be, like the background I wanna have. And then I take this light over here, this softbox light, and I'll turn it on so you guys can kind of see like how much it helps. So already it helps so much. And then I'm gonna take this, this is what I used to film with my phone. And I kind of swing that around. So I don't really want that in there. So I'm gonna like kind of position this a little bit better so it doesn't really get that in. So like that looks okay. And then I'm gonna take this busted light that I have. This light fell on the ground and the top came off. So I had to just like make shift. But I usually take this and I'm gonna set it like right here. So let's try this really quick. Okay, so here's just with my softbox lamp and with the ring light. And then let's try turning this light on and see. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm not like too dark over here, except I don't want this in there. So I'll just position this if I have to pull it towards me a little bit. Hi, I will. But this is like, you guys DIY like if I you know had if I like had the money and I could invest like I just have so many ideas I want for this channel but you gotta do what you gotta do to get through and it's worth it it's gratifying this is what I would do for my intro oh you know what I also do I also do one more thing so I have these lights well they're not lights but they go on your light and I love this red one so I like to take this red one and then take this off put this red one on it just like makes the room like a little bit you know sexy or something oh and then it turns this red light so i shove this in and then like i try to position it so it like does that and like it goes on your wall and like makes it cute you know i usually do it when it's dark outside so i wonder if that's like affecting it anyway so i'm just gonna like get cute how i want to get it I also have this mic that I use. You guys have probably seen it in like a bunch of my videos, but like I try to hide it. Like you can like put it up your shirt and like clip it. 
like that. And then it has like the little iPhone pluggy thing. So I'll just put it in. And then my, my, like my audio should be like a lot better. So this is how I do my intros. I try to get cute and I'll be like, hey guys, welcome back to the motherfucking Chanel and stuff like that, you know? So it's not perfect, but it works. So that's how I do my intros for my videos. And another little tip, if you want to do intros for your videos, I highly suggest that you get ready, you know, look how you want to look, do your intro and do like five of them at a time. Like switch your outfit, switch your hairstyle, put some different jewelry on, like whatever you got to do to make and utilize your time the most. Especially if you're a mom, you know, like we don't have hardly any time for ourselves and to do stuff like this. So if you can utilize your time and like you know get a lot of stuff happening at once out of the way it's just gonna save you and you will thank me really i would change my shirt change my hair blah 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 do all that stuff to make sure i could do like three four intros at the same time because girl i only get ready like once a year girl so it is bright over here i just got done putting everything back from my intro so that's why i say if you can bust out a couple intros at once make sure you do it because it's a lot like putting everything back, setting everything up, and like back and forth, you know what I mean? So yeah, here again is the Avenue collection. I can't wait to swatch these and show you guys a fun nail set. Um, To do an actual nail set, I really don't like to go off inspo. I kind of like to be original and just kind of do my own thing. Um, I usually, you know, get all my lights turned on, everything's clean and nice, and I just start. Like I pick up the nail tips I want ahead of time, so today for the nails, I'm going to be using these really cute full cover nails. And then once I start swatching the products, that's when the magic comes for me. Um, I don't know about you, but after I start swatching, seeing the color, seeing how the product works, just like an idea comes to mind. Most of you have probably noticed I haven't posted on my channel for like two weeks and that's because I hit a creator's block, girl. It's totally normal. It totally happens. I know a lot of people on YouTube get caught up in the numbers, the, sub the subscribers, the analytics, the algorithm, and my advice to you would be stop doing that, especially if you have a channel. I promise you're going to get burnt out. You're going to lose the fun and the passion of doing nails if you're just worried about numbers. And your subscribers can tell honestly like they just want to have a good time they want to be able to relate to you and get inspired from for some nail sets you know they want the they want to have that um, encouragement to do stuff at home and if you're just doing youtube for money or for numbers or to have clout or whatever like you're just going to get burned out so make sure you really love what you're doing and um all i can say is that the nail community is like the best place to be i've made like the best friends on here uh you guys like lift me up and encourage me so much and that's why i love doing nails personally so to get ready for a nail set it's really easy for me I make sure everything's nice and clean. I have my lights on, all my stuff's ready to go. I got my nail tips right there, my nail drill, and then I'll just start with swatches and it's kind of fun. So look at these, by the way. So if you guys are ready to see how I film a nail set and what my process is, then let's get started into these McCart Pro acrylic all-in-one powders. Okay, so let's start this little nail set. So I am reviewing the Avenue Collection by McCart. So they had six different collections come out in this um, this drop, I guess you would say. Um, so you can get six different ones. They are all so beautiful. They each come with six acrylics, two ounces each. And they are all in one powder, so you can use them as dip powder, acrylics, the sugar effect. You can do 3D designs with them, and they're very versatile. And I'm not going to honest, I'm not going to honest, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be super, super honest about my opinion with these. And I have to say, you guys, I was really, really impressed. If you saw my last video, I did um, reviews on a bunch of acrylics. And if I would have had these, these would have been in that video. And they would have been first or second. Like, I was very surprised. This formula kicks butt. It is a slow setting formula, so it's great for beginners. And I could just tell that this formula is very professional. Like, if you're a nail tech, you're going to love these. They didn't give me any chalk vibes whatsoever. 
I honestly didn't even get any marbling, which I was very, very pleased with. They're just really pigmented and I had so much fun. I'm going to do like a little marble set today using the purple and then McCart's white too. Each one of these acrylics was really buttery, really easy to work with. Like you can just tell when I'm swatching them, like they're just gliding on. They still have that like beautiful wetness look to it. So that's how you know it's slow setting. And you can just see like there was absolutely no chalk, no marbling. And go uh, go McCart. Like you've got this formula down. I don't I don't even think you could get it any better, honestly. Like it was a it was a dream to work with. Like, and I'm not even gonna lie or front to you guys. Um, and just because videos are sponsored and stuff, like I'll always be my authentic self and tell the truth with stuff. So I can a hundred percent recommend these. They are Slay by J approved. And like I said, I'm just taking some full cover tips. I'm doing the lazy grab method today and I'm just going to marble some of these acrylics together. Um, like three of the nails turned out cute. Two of them were like a little bit not marbly, but the end result honestly was giving me life and I just thought it was adorable. So as you can see, I'm just putting in not too much, just like a little bit of amount of acrylic, swirling it around, trying to get that marble effect. And I'm going to press it onto my nail, make sure to hold it down and wipe away any excess uh, acrylic that gets onto my cuticle. If you put too much in the nail bed area, it will squirt out and you will see on my middle finger, I put too much in the full covered nail and it squirted out, but I was able to remove it really easily. And I'm glad that it actually happened so I could leave it in the video and just show you guys like how you can clean it up. Um, my nails were already prepped, so I didn't prep them today for you guys, but if you like don't put base coat down on your nails and cure it and you just like leave them free, like these nails will totally last because the acrylic adheres to your natural nail and it like doesn't want to let go for the life of it. So these will definitely last. I feel like the acrylic lasts a little bit longer than the poly gel too. So that's really good with the lazy girl method. But you're going to see this nail didn't really marble. I'm not sure what happened. Like underneath it looked like it marbled. But then when you flip it over, it just was like high like it didn't want to but i still thought it turned out cute at the end like i said i just was loving these nails so i'm excited for you guys to see the end result i have tried a couple of mccart's other acrylics recently like the one ounce powders and i'm not sure if they have a different formula for this collection but it honestly seemed like they did because it just it was like a whole different experience so if they didn't i'm tripping but these just worked really, really good for me. And if you've given up on acrylic, but you're a beginner, I definitely suggest getting this collection. You can use my code SLAYBYJ, get 15% off, and you're going to love them. And I'm not just saying that. I hope you guys can just, you could see how easy it was to work with. I will use these again and do it on top of tips so you guys can see it that way as well. But as for the lazy girl method, chef's kiss. And I have all the nails applied. Um, I did like a pretty good job of not getting any product like on my actual like top of the nails. So I am just going to use a McCart file and then just kind of file around the sides, file the cuticle area and just make sure it looked pretty. Uh, you will see a couple shots on my thumb. Like if it, you can see underneath, I didn't smooth the acrylic. So once I put it on my laser girl method nail uh, and I press down, some of the acrylic does bunch up underneath the full cover nail. So you have to smooth that out on my thumb. I forgot to, but um, it's just really important that you do that. You don't want any product ever touching your skin. You can, you can create allergies that way uh, over time. And just to make sure that your nails are going to last, just make sure you smooth that nail underneath so that no product's touching you. And yeah, you know, all that good stuff. Just like little tips. If stuff's not lasting, you know, it could be something as easy as like smoothing the other, smoothing the underneath to get all the product nice and flush with the nail so that it's not touching your skin. And um, this stuff's pretty easy, you know, you just file around. You want to be really gentle and not like cut yourself or anything like that. You can use a nail drill if you have one of those, but the file just worked really easily. I hardly needed any work and that's that. So here's what the nails are looking like. I don't know about you, but I'm just loving this. Like I think it, lo it just looked cute on me and I felt bougie and, um, you know, 
I got this from the McCart Yarnella box. These cute little flowers. I was going to use them, but I ended up not. I was also thinking about this charm too, but I, it, I put it on. It looked too bulky. I took it off. So I'm going to cover all the nails with some top coat. And then I actually, on my middle finger, instead of using that big charm, I used one of the Femi Beauty charms that came in the Femi Beauty Poly Gel Kit. It's this little cute little heart thing which you guys will see photos of. I, I ended up doing it off camera because I originally put that big charm on and it just didn't look good. It was like too bulky. This was li literally such an easy nail set and I just love doing stuff like this just to, just to show you guys like you're going out for your birthday, for your dinner, you need to do a quick easy nail set to like match your outfit. Like, you can totally do this in like under 30 minutes and do both hands. Um, I'm putting top coat on all the nails without curing it and then I'm going to go put some rhinestones around my cuticles except for the middle finger. I just show the um, first finger just because it gets repetitive and I don't want to like bore you guys out you know so without curing the top coat i'm putting these rhinestones on top of the top coat it's acting as a rhinestone glue but makar also has a bomb rhinestone glue that you can get if you need one and then after i cured all of that i'm just going in with some cuticle oil and i'm just gonna you know shine these little hands up take some cool little shots for you and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you like this video. If you made it to the end of this video, will you please comment a purple emoji heart so I know who watches the entire videos. You guys are everything to me. I appreciate it so much. A lot of work and effort and time went into this video, so it just means a lot when you stick around to the end. And let me know if you got any of these new McCart Pro all-in-one powders. Like, what did you get? Oh, there's one baby. That is Hi, little Come socks. Hi. Oh, there's beans. Let's see. Beans is beans. Beans don't count. Hi. Hi, Dixie. Our cats are literally besties. They don't go anywhere without each other. Our backyard's being towed up because that fence is going to be where our backyard goes. So we're going to have like a huge backyard, which I'm so excited. Don't scare them, baby. Anyway, hi. Hey guys. So my little baby has been busy doing big girl stuff today. But here are the nails. And look at my nails. I mean, I did mine really rainbowy. Yep, yours look so cute. But I'm literally my toes too. Her toes. She went and got a pedicure. Blue and pink. I'm literally obsessed. Like I don't know what it is about this and this purple, but I just think it looks really cute on me. What do you think? Yes. Mommy, maybe you need to do a pink one on that one. Yeah, I'll do a pink one on that one. But let's give a shout out to McCart. Say we love you, McCart. I love, I, I love you, McCart. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching A Day in the Life of a Nail Tuber. As a mom, it's not as exciting or glamorous as you would think, but we end up getting a lot done, huh? And I'm a unicorn, too. Now we're going to get in our jammies, and we're going to go watch some anime together. And mommy, let's go, let's go in a night walk again. Yeah, we're, so we're going to watch some anime, eat some dinner, and then we're going to go on a night walk together, because that's, that's, that's our thing, huh? Yeah, and I get to bring a little nice stuffy. And she brings her stuffy on the night walk, because we like to go, we, we, we pretend that, we're officers and we patrol the neighborhood and mm -hmm. we look out for all the cats and we make sure the cats are being good in our neighborhood, huh? It's like my horn. Anyway, make sure to shop McCart's 36 all-in-one powders. This purple is giving me life, girl. These are so cute. Lazy girl method. And mommy, let's show you i'll show them my toes in another one i did my toes and they look really cute so anyway make sure the to toes subscribe are pink and have so good drums on them yes they are make sure to subscribe leave a comment give the video a big thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more day and, in the and life. be in the comments and be in the comments okay guys okay bye say bye bye